Hey, what's up, y'all? Lad here. Looks like a new Dark Bow user was announced. Jill Milio will be joining tomorrow, February 15th. She's a bow user mainly focusing on dealing moderate to high damage with her physical attacks that can be augmented or increased through her bleed status effect. She also has access to a rarest element in the game, it seems. Dark. And in her kit, she was given a 4-hit dark attack. That's pretty nice. Before we dive deeper into her kit, she kind of reminds me of Elena from Street Fighter. <laughs> Anyways, like always, let's go over her voice actress. She's voiced by Shizuka Ito. I'm not too familiar for work, but she does voice Widowmaker and JP in Overwatch, which I've been playing a lot of, so that's pretty cool. Now let's move on to her abilities. Taking a look at her notable damage skills, she has a 3 hit AoE bow physical damage attack that deals moderate chance for bleeding. Now this ability requires 72 SP, so watch out for that. And then for her nuke attack, she has a 1 hit bow physical damage that's increased if the enemy is bleeding. One C of 260. Moving on to her magical attacks, she has the 4 hit dark attack that hits random targets. And then she has a 1 hit dark attack that has a higher chance of inflicting bleed, and that's the global buff. Her passives, she gets a self 30% damage increase when enemy is inflicted with bleed. She also extends self status elements by one turn. So if she lands bleed, she's gonna get an additional one turn. Finally, she has a 20% in light resistance and 10% in dark. Now let's go ahead and compare Jelmelia with the rest of the 5 star cast. Her stats are mediocre, but she does have the lowest HP. Due to her passives and her skill sets revolving around dealing higher damage with a bleed passive, I would argue that her damage would be almost as good as Kirsch's, or even better, when enemies are inflicted with bleed. So the main question, should you bow? When it comes down to breaking enemy shields with bow users, Geomelia has a 3-hit bow attack, while we have Zanta with his 5-hit bow attack, and Scarecrow with his 4-hit AoE attack, and then finally we have Hanit's 3-5 single target bow attack. For bow users, having a skill that deals at least 4 hits is the baseline for a great bow user simply because we've been spoiled with the 3 5 stars as mentioned before. Also, take note, her nuke attacks will not be at the same level as Kirsch's if enemies are not inflicted with blade. Next late, her most notable and most important skill to date is her elemental attack, as she's the only character that has a 4-hit dark attack, the second being Primrose with a 3-hit dark attack. This alone makes her a strong candidate for pulling. Now with that being said, if you already have a 5-star boy user and Primrose or stud, I would skip if you're low on rubies. Simply put, you want to think of her as a convenient unit, deals damage as close or even higher than Christus, and has a multi-hit dark attack. Now on to longevity. She's decent, but she does require setups to get to her full damage potential. If you don't land a bleed, you'll be spending a turn or two trying for it. Additionally, her kit is quite selfish. self status effect and self 30% bleed damage. As the game progresses, there will be stronger bow users who will not need setups to get to her max potential. And then finally, we have our 4-hit dark attack. It's gonna be a while until we see another dark unit that has a multi-hit dark attack. So this is always welcomed. Overall impression, character design 3.5 out of 5. She looks kinda plain. Voice actress, I'm not too familiar with her work so I can't say much. But she does have a pretty cool voice. Abilities, 4 out of 5 for her 4-hit dark attack. Longevity, 3.5 out of 5. Globe above, 2 out of 5. They gave her a dark attack a higher chance to lamp lead. Time limited, no, 5 out of 5. Overall impression, 3.5 out of 5. She's not a bad unit, but her 4 hit target attack is what makes her shine. Alright, if you're planning to pull for her tomorrow, good luck. Hopefully RNGs is with you. We'll be doing a couple pulls here and there to see if we get her. Anyways, like always, take care of yourselves, I'm out.